Well, get ready, get set, because Magic Kadabra, we've yes. got the founder of Mega Magic, Mike Durso, back with us. Welcome back. Thanks for having me, Glenn and Val. Great to see you again. Great Good to, to see, see you. Looking forward to this. Last <laughs> time you were here, you made a table float around the <laughs> And you helped me with that. I know. And I forget what the other one was. It was some card trick that was with quite fire. amazing. With fires. and yes. like, a burn, like a coin burn right through it or whatever. That's right. Yes. Right. <laughs> you know, one of those, uh, when you pick your card, you, you guys always know the card. How do you do that? That's why it's called magic. Yeah. Now, yes. something I learned about you recently is you didn't always do magic. You were a, once a figure skater. Is that right? I was. I did competitive skating for about 10 years. And then, uh, you know, it came to the point where I started doing magic. And then one thing sort of led to another. I stopped skating. I started doing more magic shows. And, um, but you're still, you're, he's still very firm back there, I have to say. <laughs> well, thank you, Val. So, whatever you, thank you, you, you built up a nice base there. There we go. <laughs> you love that about figure skaters? Of course. So, um, I mean, you were involved in some of those professional ice shows, too. Yeah, I was uh, part of the Lion King on Ice and a few other productions wow. on ice. And uh, it was a great time. It actually got me started in performing, I guess, my journey as a performer, you know, just being in front of audiences and, you know, even though it was a different type of art, it was, uh, it was still, still performing. Great. Still performing. What, you, what sort of thing are you going to do for us today? Describe this. So today, uh, it's going to be a bit of a surprise, actually, but okay. we have uh, a brand new original illusion here today. Oh, wow. And uh, I'd like to share it for the first time on television on Rogers here today. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, Excellent. let's see it, shall All we? All right, we'll see you All in right. a bit. Mike Durzo. Here we go. Let's get some music for this. Nice. That's 
was incredible. Woo! Okay, I just got, wait, okay. can I just hold you? Okay. <laughs> no, yes. no, no, no. That You're was yeah. amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. Thank you, thank you. I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> How long does it take you to uh, rehearse something like that? Well, actually, we just learned this one this morning. Um, no. You know, <laughs> no, you know, for any illusion to do something well, you got to work on it like any other thing. And, uh, you know, the more times you do it, the better it becomes. And wow. the magic starts to work. That is absolutely <laughs> impressive. And Thank you. Can you make me float? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to saw down in half, make you float, any other things? <laughs> what was the very first trick you learned? So the very first trick that I ever learned was uh, just actually a card trick, uh, sort of like a mind reading trick, and it was at Wonderland. I got my first, I guess you can say, you know, deck of cards, and one thing led to another, and you know, most kids would toss their deck of cards away, and I kept it and kept going at it, and here I am today <laughs> doing magic. So. Now, what about what's so? Have you thought about your a trick that you really want to accomplish next, or your ultimate goal? The like ultimate I mean, trick. The ultimate trick. Well, one thing I work with many illusion builders and designers, and we're always thinking of new, creative, you know, fun ideas that haven't been done because a lot of things in magic have sort of been done before. Mm. You've seen right, it, right. so we always try to put our own twist and make it our own whether it be just changing something in the trick or putting a twist on it or something like this. So yeah. we're always looking for things like that. <laughs> I love this illusion because it's... Uh, it wasn't an illusion. That she really was happened. floating in the box. Whatever you call this <laughs> trick, uh, magic. I love this magic trick because uh, it's, it's low tech. You know, you weren't using big distracting uh, Colors screens. And, yeah, the smoke. So, the but, but I imagine that technology can help you in some ways, right? Do you technology find? has definitely helped evolve magic as a whole. You know, with new technologies, we're able to do more things that, you know, otherwise would have never been possible. So it's really kind of cool, you know, how magic has evolved as a result of technology as well. So. I like yeah. it. I, I, I'm still bewildered. Glenn is still shocked. His look she, of amazement, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Do, do her next. Yeah. Fly her out of the building. <laughs> Two of her would fit into one of me. Uh, listen, so it, can we see you throughout the summer? Are you performing? Yes, I'm going to be uh, pretty much all over Ontario this summer doing okay. shows at different festivals, theme parks. So I'll definitely be around. Make sure you keep your eye out for me. and. Uh, Lots of magic to come. Well, we're gonna keep uh, keep in touch with you on your website, right? So, Absolutely, yes. So it's megamagic.ca, and you'll have all your dates and appearances. All the you? dates and all of the new shows will be coming out. They'll be listed on the website, and uh, be great to see everyone there. Come say hi. Absolutely. Thanks, Mike. Thank Excellent. you very Mega much. Megamagic.ca, and now one of our volunteers with your community event. <laughs>